Hi, everyone. I'm Rupak Parikh. I'm the CTO at Platform 9. All right, let's get started. I hope you everyone had their coffee. But just to check, let's have a, a bit of trivia. Do you guys know what is perigene, spring tide? Anyone? I'm guessing Google does. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to guess it's either the lowest or the highest of the spring tides. Both. And you know what I do nowadays? I asked ChatGPT. <laughs> and this is what it gave me. I asked, hey, draw me a picture of Perigean spring tide. And that's what it drew. Turns out, when Earth is in the middle, on the same axis as the moon and the sun, in the spring, as you can tell, the water bulges more than usual. So the tidal force. And you guys must be saying, why am I talking about perigean slide? Tides, rather. <clears throat> well, it turns out that today, IT managers are really in that stuck between the two tidal forces of public cloud and private cloud. I was talking to a prospect SVP of SaaS service at a large corporation who have two data centers, three cloud centers, uh, two different clouds. And what they told me is public clouds are very expensive for their workloads. They have done it for the last five years. They are very expensive. Private cloud, they have a couple of data centers running their virtual infrastructure. But that cost is also going up. And this is what I see as the perigean spring tide of our IT infrastructure today. What are the choices? You can stick with Broadcom. You can go to public cloud, like that's, those are the people who tried it, finding out the cost is very high. Run HCI, but then what happens to the NetApp and your EMC and your big iron storage? You can do things like OpenStack by yourself. Good luck with that. Uh, you need to hire an army of people to get that done. You can run Kubernetes. This particular company that I was talking about, they actually have Kubernetes. They have a large virtual infrastructure. They have bare metal running uh, database servers. So they have everything that you can, you can think about. What are your choices? What are the solutions that will fit that need? Before I talk about the solution that we are presenting, let me talk about Platform 9 and what we have done in the past. We have been in the industry for the last eight years running production workloads with various customers, upgrading them year over year. Today, we have some individual customers have more than 10,000 physical servers with, you can imagine the number of virtual machine, at least an order of five to 10, depending upon the size of their servers. Many, many, many clusters on virtualization. Many, many, many clusters on Kubernetes with containerization, all working together. So Platform 9 historically had multiple products to cater to this particular market, specifically on the private cloud. And today, we are bringing you another one called Private Cloud Director. With our years of experience, it is an enterprise-ready, enterprise-grade, production-ready solution that has both containers as well as virtualization integrated in. We believe this is the most cost-effective, developer-friendly solution that's out there. And today, we are going to talk about exactly how, how does it look, what are the things that we are doing, and, and what the future is. There are three elements to our solution. The very first one is what we call as a virtualized cluster. As the name implies, you can take up your physical servers, put virtualization on, put your virtual create virtual machines on, and you can create many, many clusters like that. You can also use the same infrastructure for your containers, and we are going to talk a little bit more about it today. Uh, run containers, 
and then integrate them by providing some services in your virtualization, some services on your containerized clusters with a framework called as an extension framework. So it's an integrated experience across both virtual and container solutions. Traditionally, Platform 9 has always offered our solution as a SaaS managed solution with what we call as always on assurance. Chris here will talk a little bit more about that in a minute. We are also offering now a self hosted version of the same solution for security or sovereign uh, use cases. 